What is up, everybody? Today is going to be the last day of the block that I'm filming 100% because I'm definitely not filming tempos, squats, uh, and bench tomorrow again, as I definitely filmed them last week. And that is my last day of the block. So today's the last time I deadlift on the block. Um, my coach has been sending me some videos and talking me through how my deadlift should look. So it's going to be a little different than how it was before. Hopefully. Hopefully. He gave me some simple cues, which I'm going to hope work. Um, we'll see. My deadlift is like really iffy for me to get consistent when I don't use the cue I've been using. So uh, I don't know how it's going to go. But it's easy. I have uh, paused ads today. Um, probably like RP8 or 9 actually, like high RP. But paused ads, I think I have four. So, I think I did 275 last week, and that was way over my range, and it was way undershot. Um, so, I'm either going to just, like, go up, like, 10 kilo, and just, like, make sure the pauses are really good, and, or go up a bunch and just actually hit RP9 with, hopefully, still pausing them. So... Uh, we'll see. It depends how it feels, honestly, I guess. Like, because I'm testing out a new a new form. Even though it's not a new form, it's just, like, a new way to set up, which in turn will, for deadlift, pretty much changes everything you do. Um, so we'll see how that feels for me. But if it feels, if I feel stronger, which I should, and I actually feel better, then I'll probably push the weight a little bit just to see if I actually, like, want, like, like the form and it's, like, worth doing. Which, I mean, it should be because all it is is just, like, when I was, what I was doing was literally just, you know, walking up to the bar, stiff leg, hinge with the, with the finger cue thing that I was doing, hinge all the way down, then flatten my shin angle, and then grab the bar and brace. Um, the way I'm going to do it now is line up the bar, like line up the bar with my, my feet. I'm going to line up a little closer too, because I was, I was just a little bit wide for, not like for conventional, because you can be as wide as you want, but. I was a little wide just because to me, my arms from the, like the front angle that I recorded in my other last video or, or when I recorded my dead last, last time, I think it was last video. Um, it looked like my arm is like caving outwards because my knee is going into my arm, if that makes sense. So I'm going to line up with my feet a little closer in so that my arms can just go straight down and my knee should be able to push against my arms, which is like a good brace tool usually to make your knee, I'm sorry. It's a good tool to make your knees not cave in on deadlift because that happens a lot, I guess, too. So you push against your arm and it creates tension there, too, as well as your knee doesn't cave in because you're pushing it outwards. So I'm going to probably put my feet in a little bit more. Um, and the biggest thing is hamstring tension because I've never really deadlifted with hamstring tension. I've never really got the concept of hamstring tension down. I'm really bad at keeping tension in, like, a specific like muscle, oh, I zoom in, that's unfortunate, sorry, um, I didn't realize it was zoomed in, my bad, um, but I'm really bad at keeping tension in a specific muscle, usually, so hopefully, okay, I can just zoom in, but hopefully I can keep the tension today and keep my hips high, so the goal is to keep hamstring tension while keeping your hips high, and you're going to brace before you go down, so if that works, I'll, I'll kind of walk through what I do to make it work. But from instructions I have right now, it's just like, take a brace before you, you like do anything like besides set your feet. And it's not like a squat brace, it's a different type of brace. It's just like a, a, a littler brace. Like it's still a brace, but it's not like a brace and fill out. It's a brace, um, which is a little different than squat. And then you just hamstring tension, keep your arms long. And then pulling slack is gonna be a big thing today because he really wanted me to like pull slack. So like really try to pull my back away from the bar. Um, and then obviously pause right after it comes off the ground and lift. So we'll see how that goes. It should go well. I, I was practicing a little bit, like obviously without a bar, but I think I got the concept of hamstring tension and my hips high, pretty consistent. So as long as I can keep it consistent, I'll be good. Um, and the other thing, the only reason I really am filming today is because my freaking lever came. So now I am officially a, a comp lifter. I'm joking, but every single comp lifter I know, like 
I mean comp by like top, like top of the class, like Joe Bornstein, like Phil Strong, like all these people I go to my gym that are just like insanely strong. We all have an inser belt and a pioneer lever. So it's an adjustable lever, which the inser belt doesn't come with, with the inser belt. So the reason people do this for one is because pioneer belts until this year, I believe, were not IPF approved. So, or not any, like, yeah, it was IPF only. So you couldn't wear the actual pioneer belt itself in the IPF, which means it's pointless because you can't wear it. So people would buy the inser belt, which is basically the same thing, if not a little better, to be honest, and then put the pioneer lever on it, and that's all legal. So I think that's why most people did it. Now, I did it because I didn't know that I should have just bought a Pioneer belt, to be honest. But also, the lever was on sale for Black Friday, and I wanted it. And my Inzer lever, like I was telling you guys, I believe, wouldn't close all the way. Like, didn't clamp all the way down. So, with the Pioneer, obviously, it's adjustable. And I was trying it on, it already clamps all the way down with the adjustable. And it can be tight. It can be really... The thing I like is that it can be really tight for when you squat. And it can be a little bit looser for when you deadlift without having to touch any screws at all. Or if like, like, let's say for example, like today, I have two meals in me, right? Cause I took a final this morning. So I had breakfast and I had a pre-workout meal. So I'm going to be a little bit more bloated than normal. So for me, my stomach's going to be a little bit bigger. So I can put it one pin left to have a little bit more room and I won't have to adjust anything and it'll still feel the same. Whereas before, I'd have to adjust screws every time I wanted to make it tighter or looser, which means you just never adjust it, basically, which isn't optimal, obviously. So I'm hoping it feels really good today. When I was trying it on, like, first off, it took forever to build. Like, not, I don't know why. I was just struggling. I guess my my, uh, my screwdriver was really bad, but I was struggling to put it together. Also, my belt was super stiff because I just got it, so... It was really hard to like bend and put the screws in because you have to like have it flat, but I figured out a way. Um, if you guys ever try to do this, I'll give you a little hack right now. Since the Pioneer lever is the part that's adjustable, you have to put the plate, which I'll show you guys when I'm wearing it, the plate where the where the, like the, the lever goes into, in where your holes are for like an inser belt, right? And the belt I had before the inser belt. Most belts, most lever belts, you have four holes for where the lever goes into and locks in. Since it's an adjustable lever, you have a plate that now goes there instead of those four holes. So you put four screws in those holes with another plate that has like the little, I call them shark teeth, but it's just like, you know, the little slots for the things to go in. So I put that there and then I hooked it and then I screwed everything in and it went in way easier because it's already curved to exactly where it needs to be. So if you're struggling, because I was struggling, I was literally doing it for like an hour yesterday. If you're ever struggling, just that's what I would say. Put the plate on with the screws where the holes are first, which is not easy to get on either. But once you get that on, which is it's not that bad, just do like the top left and the bottom right. Just do it diagonally so it's even, and push really hard against it. You get those in. Then putting the lever on the belt, you just put like unscrew the things from the package, put the holes like through, make sure that it's like like the screws go into the holes. Don't screw it at all. Lever it closed while it's like loose and then tighten the screws and it'll go in perfectly even. So it took me forever, but I finally figured out how to do that just by messing around and that worked. So if you ever struggle with it, there you go. There's a quick little hack. But the other than deads, we have a back today. So it's got some pause deads and some back. Gonna get a good pump today. I filmed the last time I did pause deads, I believe, and I was already doing my training the way I've been doing it now, like really slow and controlled. So it's going to be interesting to see if progression is just as easy as it was before. Like I can just add five pounds and like do the exact same or if it's going to have to be like keep the same weight and slow it down even more. But I don't know because I don't think I really pushed that much last week just because I was trying out the new stuff like doing negatives and all that. So this week I'm sure I can add five pounds to every lift I'm doing besides like curls because hammer curls with 20s was like impossible. But maybe I'll do like 22 and a half if we have them or I'll just do like one set with 25s and two or two sets of 25s and two sets with 20 or something so we'll see um but yeah I'm excited I like back day back day is my favorite day right now so let's get a good pump and uh let's make these dads move all right second to last warm-up I'm filming this because I'm actually going decently heavy today so I have a lot more warm-ups but 
that feels really good. So I think it, the bracing or using my hamstrings also feels good. So I think I'm gonna put it like one below tightest, and that's where it feels good. So yeah. all right. Last one. Make this shit fly. Still moved. All right, top set. Let's fucking go. Come on. Um, Alright, pauses were kind of shitty, it didn't actually move great at all, but I'm fucking walking in for these, so, come on, these going to be better. I'm just a little tighter. Hey sir, Josh. Here's the tightest. All right, come on. Alright, let's go. The last that was fucking good. I need another, another two of those. Come on. Come on.
Alright, last set. Let's make it fucking good just like the others. Come on. Alright, that lifts actually weren't that bad. I, I misjudged how bad my top set was. It wasn't great, but my back downs are really good. Um, you know, Matt's last week's weight, because I low-key failed my last set last week. But, I don't know. Right now, I literally put on a juice song in the car, and I'm just singing a bunch of Juice World, just random songs. I'm hyped right now. So. Make these really strict and good. Come on. 12. Die young. Bring uh, uh. All right, come on. Let me drop the weight. The rest of the set, I got six, I think. I'm not, I can't get full all the way down, so no point. I had to drop the weight next set. That was way too heavy. Dropped it a bunch. Um, like 40 pounds. So, I'm getting four inch motion here and actually a few good reps. Let's get it. Oh, that feels pumped already, so. It's good. It's rare for me.
Two more. Oh my god. Come on. Ah, ah. One more. Oh my god. Alright, one more set. That weight's that weight's good. Oh my god. Alright, we one more set. I'm taking my shirt off so I can see you from actually working my lats. So let's get it. Oh, that was hard as hell. Come on. Bills. B and B. Acting like B and B. Acting like Mosh Pit. Only how they kill me slowly. Get in, oh, please. Alright, come on. 12. Oh my grip! Ow! Oh my god! All right, Rose. All right, my back was back was definitely back in there. Um, I have no cool way to do, but I'm gonna do like yeah, 120, and just super control it. This is super wide, so it might feel really weird, but that's kind of the point. Right. That's too heavy. I'm gonna drop to like. Uh, 90 and just super controlled. This is a really wide grip, so. All right, come on. That's a good weight. Two more of those. All right. Yeah, everybody's in agreement pretty much that my top side deadlifts were terrible. My backgrounds are beautiful. So, interesting. But two more of these. I'll take my shirt off for the last one to see if everything's working right. But this feels good. Thank you. 
Alright, almost there. Couldn't find that tick. So I'm drinking all Acadie. Alright, I'm gonna get two, as so many herbs as possible. Pullovers, these are fucking gruesome, but come on. Shit, one more. All right, come on. Come on. Holy shit. Alright, it's time for hell, as I like to call it. This is the worst section of all back extensions. Um, two as many as possible, so a 45 plate. Hopefully, for at least 12. Alright, let's go.
15 on another set. I low-key cheated. That was not failure, but it fucking hurts. I gotta do better. All right, come on. Oh, running no funds. Come on. Oh my god, alright, there it goes. Come on. Oh my god. Yeah, two more. Well, he is, he is, bro. They'd be fucked. If he went to Young LA, Young LA would literally just take over. He won't. He won't. He needs two, two investors. At this point, I think I'd rather do that than Yeah, probably. I used to want to do the Young LA, but honestly. They blew up, and now they're like, yeah. Well, this is going to fucking kill me, bro. Huh? This is going to kill me. Another 15? Come on. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, what the fuck, what the fuck. You're tripping. So that is how you tear your shoulder. <laughs> Never. Yeah. There is some that work like that, but standing up, not not laying down. There are some things that work like that, but not sitting down. Or not standing up, not laying down. If you lay against the wall and do this against the wall, it's actually really good. Yeah, no, you don't want to go out, bro. No. Yeah. All right, bro. Last set. This can't be that bad. Come on. Thank <laughs> you.
Oh my god. I suppose. Alright, I suppose. It's solid. Solid workout. I felt like I had a solid pump, so. We'll see. Solid. <sighs> Super solid work at wall and never fucking has it. All right, let's get in the car. All right, super, super solid session here. Obviously, you can see it's uh, dark outside, but that actually was not too long of a session, to be honest. That was like two hours, um, which is really short for me, to be honest. Um, so I'll take it happily, happily, happily take it. Um, so we can talk a little bit about today. So... We're just not going to talk about the top set, actually, because uh, fuck the top set. I don't know what happened. Every warm-up set was really good. Like, felt hamstring tension, arms were long, pulled slack really well, pauses were really good, and everything was good. And we got to the top set, and all of a sudden, for whatever reason, zero hamstring tension. Arms were still good. I feel like didn't really pull slack that much. Also, because I had no hamstring tension, so I had no, I couldn't wedge because... You don't have hamstring tension. There's nothing to wedge. So it just, like, was bad, to be honest. Like, it was just not a good top set for whatever reason. And then back downs fucking locked back in. Back downs were go-to. Like, if, I, if, my, if my comp deadlift moves how my back down did today, okay? This is, like, my goal right now, right? If my comp deadlift moves like my back downs did, I'm going to be so happy. Because that felt perfect. Good hamstring tension. Good slack pull, good pause, chest didn't drop, leg drive was good, arms stayed long, feet were in a good position. Everything was perfect on every back down set. So I just need to lock in and keep my top set like that. I think I just today, I just rushed it or because I haven't touched that weight in so long. It was a 17 and a half kilo jump from last week, which was already a 15 kilo jump from the week before because of how much I was getting under shot. So it's supposed to be at eight today. I thought it felt like it was at nine, but every single person that I showed the video to today said it was at like seven. So that's good. That's really good. That means it looked pretty easy. Um, and then my back downs to me felt like a five and they were at an eight, which is perfect because that's what they're supposed to be at. So that list actually went really well, to be honest. Um, and like my top set wasn't bad. Like, okay, my top set was bad, but like to me, it just felt really bad on video. It actually doesn't look that bad. The pauses were just really not great. And then I was like uneven, which was like weird. But like it just didn't feel good. My back downs felt good and looked good. So I know what it's supposed to feel like and what it's supposed to look like now, which is all that really matters. Um, so obviously I'll get better as it as I do more and more and more. And as I use the new foot today, it's my first day trying to have like hamstring tension and all that. So like obviously I'm going to get better at it. Like this, you know, practice makes perfect, obviously. Um, aside from that, the actual back day itself felt really good. I dropped lat pull downs weight a lot. You can see how much my lats were working in the video where I had my stringer on. 
so much better like that. Like like I said in the video like yesterday or whenever, don't worry about weight. Just drop the weight. Make sure you feel everything. Keep do a slow negative. Like everything should just be locked in when you're doing every muscle. So it felt really good. My lat pull downs felt great. My my even my wide grip rows, which usually feel like shit to me because they're really wide, felt good today. Pullovers felt great. Uh, Hyper extensions burn like fucking hell. They always do, but that's fine. And then hammer curls felt absolutely amazing. Um, only kept kept it at twenties, and I'm actually really happy I did because I was struggling. But form really strict. Super solid pump from what I saw in the video. Um, lighting's kind of bad in the whole gym to be honest, except for the one room where it was really busy today, so I didn't want to pose there, but. Good pump and a solid workout. I cannot complain. Last heavy day of the whole block. Tomorrow I have tempo squat, tempo bench. So I have tempo squat three by three, just like always. And I think it's at like it's at like two forty or something. Like I upped the range by myself because it was so light. It's supposed to be at like two twenty. I'm like, I did this last week. He went up at two and a half kilos. I'm like, I'm good. Also, I'm not coached by him anymore, so I can kind of do my own shit right now, which is kind of nice. Um, so I'm going to up it to like 240, which is still really light for a three by three. Um, and then I have a single tempo bench, a five second tempo. I have no clue what RP it's at. I have to look, but I think it's at like RP nine, to be honest, unless my last one was RP nine. So that reset back to five. I don't really know. Either way, point is it's not worth filming because then I have to slarge them three by nine, which is just going to kill me. But with the wider grip. And hopefully getting my arch down, it should be good and my touch should be better. So hopefully tomorrow's session is good as well. It should be. Um, I don't really see why it wouldn't be. Uh, I do also have an exam tomorrow. So the only thing that could fuck me up is if I do bad on my exam, then I'm down. But I think I'll be okay. And then Thursday I go home. So every video you see for uh, the next next month will be from my home gym. Now, when I'm going home, I'm going to go to, I believe, Boynton Barbell Center, which is the closest powerlifting gym to me, which is crazy because it's far as fuck. It's like 30 minutes away, at least. Um, <coughs> but I uh, I think I have to go there, especially for primary days. Like, the way I think I'm going to do it is Friday and Saturday are my primary days right now. So as long as that stays the same, every Friday and Saturday I will be in Boynton Barbell Center because I want to lock in on primaries and make sure everything is strict and perfect. Um and then secondary sessions, I might just go to the gym I've been going to because I work out with my mom sometimes and it's a little bit closer to my house. And I still, you know, I still like the gym, even though it's in pounds and whatever. It's still it's still a decent enough gym. And the accessories they have there are honestly probably way better than any other gym I'm going to go to. So I'll probably go there for ha for most of the sessions and then Boynton Barba for my primary sessions. So that could be cool because uh, it will change up the pace of videos a little bit. It's like change up the scenery a little bit, which is rare. Um, so yeah, so that should be fun. And, uh, that's, that's pretty much all I got. Super solid block. Unfortunate. And again, me separating from my coach. It's unfortunate, but listen, things happen for a reason. And, um, I think things are looking bright with my new coach and I think I'm going to get way stronger. I think my form's going to get better. And I think this comp's going to go really well. Um, everything's just tick by piece by piece coming together. So no complaints. I got to go home, eat some food, study my ass off, have a good test tomorrow, have a good session tomorrow, and then drive home. And then we lock in on Friday and Saturday. I am have a call with my new coach on Thursday, so we're going to discuss what's going to be involved in the new block and all that stuff. Um, so that should go well. I'm sure I will film. I'll probably film the first day of the new block. I usually like to. It's usually squat and bench as well, which is nice. So... As long as that stays the same, I'll probably film my first day of the vlog. And, uh, yeah, so I will see you guys in a few days. And uh, hopefully hopefully the next vlog starts off hot and we're only six weeks out. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.